Tēnā koutou katoa and welcome to this week's news update on Kiwi TV. I'm Brent Rayhana. In this bulletin, horror and shock as Christchurch is hit by more earthquakes. Tips for Kiwis to become millionaires and Carmen makes her final curtain call. Cantabrians were once again rocked by a series of earthquakes, the first striking at 1.58pm and measuring 5.8 on the Richter scale. Being three days before Christmas, many were caught whilst undertaking last minute shopping. Power cuts also affected many parts of the city, with the airport being evacuated, causing disruptions and leaving staff to deal with disgruntled passengers. There were no reports of fatalities, however many were treated for stress and related conditions brought on by the quakes. The Christchurch Mail Centre was evacuated as a precautionary measure, meaning the next delivery of mail will not be until after Christmas. Well-known King's Cross identity Carmen passed away last week from kidney failure. She was 75. Carmen, born Trevor Rupe, was one of 13 children from Tomaranui. She was an active campaigner for sex education, legalising prostitution, gay marriage and abortion rights. Carmen ran a brothel in Wellington and was a mayoral candidate before being pressured by a parliamentary privileges committee in the mid-1970s to name gay MPs that she had alleged. Carmen was farewelled at Tawaidu Tapu Church by members of the gay, lesbian and transgender community, the Māori community and friends, family and members from both sides of the Tasman. Oh, the most beautiful, beautiful lady I think I've ever met and uh, gave me a lot of encouragement to, uh, to do drag and to soldier on. The Tonga was really, really lovely. I'm so pleased that a lot of people turned up from all walks of life that come from abroad. Lovely messages sent from uh, overseas and in New Zealand. I just want to say what an amazing day it's been coming from Auckland, um, from the infamous K Road to see a dear and loved family friend and friend of Carmen and him passing on. A celebration today. A recent New Zealand Herald article gave tips for New Zealanders wanting to become millionaires. This included moving to Australia where nurses are reported to earn $70,000 or 92000 New Zealand dollars. The article states that not many people become millionaires staying in their hometown. With the fallout from Christchurch earthquakes, there's an expected increase in the number of skilled and cashed up New Zealanders moving to Australia. Not good news for the New Zealand economy, but bringing brighter prospects to those New Zealanders moving across. In the Kiwi TV notice board, Saturday the 4th of February sees Waitangi Day celebrations in Queensland at the Kingston Butter Factory at Logan City with plenty of food, music and craft stalls. And in Sydney on the 4th of February at Holroyd City Gardens in Marylands, with loads of entertainment for the whole family. And that's the latest from the Kiwi TV news desk. Head to kiwitv.com.au. From the team here at Kiwi TV, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a safe and Happy New Year. I'm Brent Rayhana. Until next time, noho ora mai. <laughs>